Okay, this video is going to be a part two video for what we already recorded before with how to do split screen in Call of Duty Black Ops. We got this tip in from uh, Tippy Toes here who commented on the original video and uh, figured out why everyone's been having problems. So if your game's been freezing on you, you haven't been able to add the other player. Here's a tip that seems to be working for other players. So you can go ahead and try it out yourself. Uh, you must go to Activision.com and link your Activision account to a Battle.net account. Uh, we didn't account for this when we first made our original video. We've already had our account linked up to a PS4 account. So when you're doing this, go ahead and go to Activision.com, like you see here on the screen, and then link your account, whether it be Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PS4, whatever it may be. And then it should allow you to seamlessly go ahead and connect. So it's just a small fix uh, for us. You know, when we did our original video, and what you can see here, we already have all the accounts already connected. So when I go ahead and hit X to connect another player, uh, it's going to automatically connect them because we are already connected to the Activision account. So this might be one small little piece that you want to try out to see if it will connect uh, a local player. That way you're able to play with them. Try this with the two PS4 accounts. Try to link them to the Activision to see if that will work as well and see if it still freezes out. But I think this might be a major piece to find out. So uh, shout out to Tippy Toes. If you find any other workarounds, let us know. We are consistently monitoring this. We're checking the Call of Duty boards every single day to see if anything's changed or anything's going to be updated. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because we will have those videos updated as soon as possible. But we thought this little tweak might help you out if you connect everything to Activision. That way you're able to get into a split screen with Call of Duty Zombies. So as always, if you have questions, let us know in the comment section below. We'll try to help out as best as we can. We'll see you next time.